Hi guys, so today's video as you might have already read from the title is about journaling. So I started journaling let's say about a year ago and it has been on and off, not gonna lie. I don't like sit out every day to journal and all of that and probably that's not how it's supposed to work as well. Yes, you have to be consistent so that doesn't mean that you open your journal once in a we can then start journaling but yeah you know um during the day whenever you feel like uh venting and um especially when you're looking for a friend that's doesn't go to say that you're not supposed to vent to your friends but yeah you know sometimes look for a pen and paper and try and write it out and see how you feel about it so yeah let's get started with uh journaling and how this process has helped me uh it might not be the same for you so uh we won't focus more on the results here but we'll focus on the process so yeah if you are looking into something like this looking forward to something like this then this video is definitely for you so my first very tip is if you are somebody who doesn't know at all what to write so if you take a pen and paper and you sit and you just don't know what to write i completely relate with you that has happened to me several times and what i do during in these times is i just go on pinterest or you can even look up on google and pinterest preferably uh, where you just search for uh, just search up for journaling prompts and you'll get so many ideas like they'll have these questions for you which you just have to answer like how do i feel today what is going to make me happy today how can i take care of myself today so there are various kind of questions so you don't need to put your thought into or uh, the question you know you can just write the answers for example uh, if i ask you a question like how are you feeling today you know you can write that what are the thoughts in your head about that so you have like a uh, how do i say you have like a, a basic thing to start with where you're you're not like okay what do i write you at least have a question that you can answer so you can start with that journaling prompts is something that has really helped me over time of course you know it's going to become a thing where you can just sit and write how you feel during the day and uh, a lot of times you know i also used to think that what is the purpose of just sitting and writing how i feel and of course the fear of <laughs> having being somebody you know just uh, op- like kind of accidentally open it and read it and all of that so i know all of that is there and sometimes we even tend to kind of filter out what we write in our journals because somebody is going to read if that's something that you have a kind of a fear you can always probably even send voice notes to yourself that's a very um, fun way of kind of journaling where you're just telling yourself how the day went you can probably delete the voice note later as well this is not like proper journaling journaling tip or you know you can also note it down in your phone so if you are kind of afraid of uh, somebody reading it because i know that <laughs> this was one of my fears growing up like i used to maintain a diary not a journal earlier and i had this fear that oh my god what if somebody comes across this diary so yeah you know if you have those kind of fears uh, the uh, point of telling this part is that you should not hinder your like you know don't be like okay i'm not going to write this because what if somebody is going to read so then you're losing out on the whole purpose of journaling so don't do that try and uh, if you have that kind of a you know fear then you can always probably note it down on your phone and a lot of people love to journal digitally somehow for me it has never worked i just love writing things down on pen and paper so yeah uh yeah so the next thing is uh do not i feel that setting a specific time or uh, initially i used to feel like i st- i have to get up in the morning and journal how i feel that's not really how it works you know you can just journal whenever you feel like suppose you're at work you know and suddenly you're like okay this is how i'm feeling and you want to write it down that time that's also completely fine you can just take a 5 minute break and write it down so it does not have to be like okay i had to journal in the morning but i did not do it so now i can't do it the whole day i've missed out on the whole thing the whole day that's not how it's going to work please keep in mind that this is not like there's no rule of thumb here you it's just a free flow of things and what you write in your journal when you write it all of this is pretty much up to you one thing though that i would uh, uh, mention is that try to build it as a habit you know don't uh, journal once in a month and completely forget about it i'm sure uh, 
at least you can have a weekly entry where you write about how your week goes you know so that it kind of grows on you as a habit and you tend to write or uh, you know kind of a journal more often and uh, yeah i mean you know i have still not been able to completely understand what are the benefits of journaling but one of the things that has really helped me is uh, gaining uh, some amount of clarity in different areas of my life so i think that is one of the things and uh, there's something about just writing things down you know you you're like oh okay this is how probably i'm thinking about it because when you're thinking about it there's so much clutter in your head you don't understand you know what are the right thoughts what are the like you know what is it that you're actually feeling and when it comes down on paper and there have been so many times i went back and read my journal entries that i've written earlier one of the things that i love about journaling is when you go back and read your entry a year ago or even a few months ago you're like wow i have come so far from this and that's so you know it's such a nice feeling so maybe just do it for that as well Okay so the next thing i want to tell you is that uh, allow yourself to understand what you truly look forward to this is something that i feel that uh, is a key of journaling you know for me it is like a simple daily practice daily weekly however you would like to have it where you will just kind of you know understand ki okay this is what you'll get a perspective on what is it that you want or what is it that you don't want that is also very important actually so yeah i mean these are the kind of things i don't really have a structured video around this to say that okay this is this, these are types of journaling you you have to do although i myself have tried various kinds of journaling i have tried gratitude journaling which is one of my favorites just writing down a few things in a day that i'm extremely grateful for uh it can be something as simple as having home cooked meals or having a friend to went out to you know something really really simple that we end up taking granted for in the day so yeah you can i mean i love having a gratitude journal uh, because also <laughs> there is very less like you know you don't have to write pages and pages but there are also days when i'm feeling extremely overwhelmed and i start off with writing one page and then i end up filling up pages and pages so it's just an experience you need to the key here is to let your emotions flow just it's just between you and the pen and the paper that's it there's nobody else involved in this process and it's just a very beautiful way of having a me time trying to understand yourself sometimes when you start journaling you know it's it's a very scary process at the start where you know you come in touch with your emotions and you're like oh okay is this what i feel is this what i feel and eventually of course it does get better but uh, yeah it takes time and like everything all good things so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i don't have anything very specific like i mentioned i don't have like a structured video this was just literally i didn't even plan the script i'm just saying whatever i felt about journaling uh for the past one year and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did uh please don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment down below and let me know if you have tried journaling in the past and yeah what it is like an experience for you also i have attached a journaling prompts downloadable sheet along with this video so you can click in the description download the video it is for free so do try it out and uh, if you do use it please tag me on pink wine apple on instagram yeah that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah uh, have a great day